Good evening, my beautiful high vibe soul tribe. Well, you know what? Satan's really trying to knock us down in that collective right now. He's, I think he's using this multi-planet retrograde in order to somehow try to keep us down. Like all I keep hearing is that song. I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never going to keep me down. Yes. I keep hearing that song over and over again in my head for the collective. So, um, okay. Let me start out first. I was sick. I, I lost my voice. Okay. I was sick. I was coughing. I was puking. I was shitting. It was so bad, so bad. And then I got better and then I lost my voice again. And then I got now I'm better somewhat. And now my hearing is completely out in my ears. So it's like, it's like Satan was trying to knock me down, keep me sick. Now he's trying to take my hearing, take my speech, you know, for my voice. And I don't know what it is. I have power of prayer. That's the only thing I can explain it to be is the power of freaking prayer. Like I love God. Okay, I was just shuffling to you, 111 on the clock as I said that. I was just shuffling. And God just always seems to bring in this divine balance for us and gives us the power to walk away from things and people and situations and toxic energies that just no longer serve our highest good. And so um, I want to go ahead and pull a few cards because we get knocked down, but we get up again. You're never going to keep us down. We get knocked down. Yeah, so I'm going to pull a few cards. <laughs> I hope you guys are all doing wonderful out there. I'm so sorry I haven't been on here. I missed you guys so much. So much. You have no idea how much I miss you guys. So happy to be back. Missy the sunshine too. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I love you guys. But seriously, um, it was hard. It was... It wasn't easy, okay? And and when you battle Satan and his demons on a daily, you know, and, and you're such a divine being, because the collective that I read with and that I vibrate with, um, we we tend to vibrate on a very high energy, okay? And and Satan and his minions, they're constantly like, we gotta get that one. We gotta knock that one out. We gotta take that one down because they're just a little bit too powerful. And and that's that's threatening to Satan. He doesn't want he doesn't want people to be powerful in the collective. No. No, he doesn't. And he tries everything in his power to knock us out, take us down. But we're not going to let him because we get knocked down, but we get up again. You know, you could take away our speech, you could take away our hearing, and next probably going to be sight. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to get pink eye or something. I'm not manifesting that. God re uh can you just erase that from the record, please? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, well, I do got pink eye because I smoke a lot of weed. But, you know, other than that, I don't want pink eye. Okay, God. All right. Anyways, um, what is my collective? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth it is in heaven. Give us this day, Lord, our daily bread. Forgive all of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, Father, but deliver us all from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Queen of Pentacles in the house. Yes, we get knocked down, but we get up again. Okay, now I got the Hermit card in reverse. So I'm really feeling a transformational energy. Yes. And I'm really feeling that, you know, um, there I'm speaking, this is a collective reading by the way. Okay. Um, and if I'm talking really loud, it's because I can't hear absolutely nothing out of my right ear. Just letting you guys know, um, my whole side of my face is swollen and yeah, my kids are trying to get me to go to the doctor and stuff. And I'm like, no, I got apple cider vinegar. I got, um, olive oil and <laughs> what else do I put in it? Apple cider vinegar, olive oil, Oh, and a drop of peroxide. Um, yeah. And, oh, garlic. Garlic, yes. I boil garlic in the olive oil, and then I strain it. And I take just the the um, juice from it, just the olive oil and vinegar and stuff, and I put, like, a couple drops in my ear. And it's, it, it's a little swollen, but it's not that bad. I mean, you know, I could still pull on it. It was a lot sore, a lot more sore, I should say. <laughs> it was a lot more sore, yeah. So, yeah, I could pull on it and stuff. It, it is a little tender, but it's nothing that I can't handle. Satan. <laughs> I'm 
Nothing I can't handle, baby. Mm-hmm. It just got dark. It just got real dark. Oh, what? Am I making it dark in your own front yard, Satan? Am I putting your fire out? Yes, I am. Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> All right. Collective. What do we got? What do we got for my beautiful high vibe soul trap? Whoa, shit. Okay, we got um the Knight of Cups. So, <laughs> there, whoo, oh gosh, oh gosh. This person gets butterflies just thinking about you. I'm hearing, just hearing your voice or just thinking about, oh, oh, it, oh, oh, it just got real. It just got super real. Okay, here we, oh. Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, it just got really real. All right, there is a very um, beautiful, very handsome, very powerful, very mysterious secret admirer. I'm hearing, I want to lay you on a blanket. I want to wash your feet in a bowl of water. And I want to write poems and songs in your name. While I feed you grapes and pour your wine. Oh, under the stars. Yes, under the trees, under the stars, the beautiful skies. <laughs> we got to get theatrical in here. As you can see, I'm wearing my little corset today. Yes, so we got to get theatrical in here, collective. Yes, on a beach, under the moon. Yes. Calgon, take me away. Oh, this sounds like heaven. This sounds like heaven. This sounds like a really good person, okay? And they can have also a lot of fire in their chart, or they're just really super collective. Like, they're just super attracted to you. Like, oh my gosh, look at that. And I'm, all they think about is, what does that look like? Just saying. <laughs> that is all they can think about. This is all they can think about. Like, they're sitting there daydreaming, like, oh, just to kiss her lips or, oh, just to hold her in your arms or, you know, or him. This could be for him, too, okay? Just to hold him in my arms. Yeah, I forgot. I have a really, um, in my uh, editing stuff, I have, like, um, a lot of guys that follow me. <laughs> I didn't realize that. But it's so funny because I've, like, I've gotten along with all men, like, all my life. Um, my best friends are men and some of them are gay, but most of them are just men. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a tomboy and I never started wearing dresses and feeling feminine until recently. Like, I don't know. And maybe that's something also that, you know, if you're dealing with a feminine, that's maybe something else that she could, um, be going through right now. She's coming into her feminine power, her nature. Uh, she doesn't have to be tough anymore. She doesn't have to be uh, guarded 24-7, you know. she She's finding out that she can really lean on you. And that's with the hermit in reverse, too. Because when you go hermit upright, okay, you go within. And you go within and you have this, this beautiful awakening. This beautiful spiritual awakening. And it just, it cradles you. And, and that's what the feminine needed. Um, it's not that she didn't want to be with you. It's the fact that she just needed that nurture, nurturing feeling from God. As you can see, the, this feminine, she's like standing out in nature and she has her arms up and she's just like, please God, you know, like screaming or just meditating. Like I like to go out um, at the lake. I just went to the lake with my son for the last weekend. Oh my God, we had so much fun. But I made sure we didn't have no phones, no electronics. Like, I didn't want no filming or nothing. I wanted to get one. Yeah, I wanted to be one with nature. I wanted to get grounded again, you know? And I was, I, I was sick. I was sick as a dog. And the only thing I remember when I was off grid, the only thing that would make me feel better is if I went out in nature. And I just let God heal me. And I did. And I, I'm, I'm trying to also teach my son that, you know, modern medicine is good. Don't get me wrong. Okay. Modern medicine is very good, but I was, I, I was on a lot of medication and 
and I was able to tell my doctor that I want to get off of this medication because I was addicted to pain pills. I was addicted to um, uh, depression medication. I was addicted to sleep uh, medicine. Um, what is that stuff called? Uh, Xanax, um, Ativan, Norco. Yeah, any of these ring a bell? Clodipin, Thorazine. Um, yeah, I even started doing, it's called a Thorazine shuffle because I was taking so much Thorazine that I was like twitching a lot. It was bad. It was really bad collector. And I came a far, I've came a far way. <laughs> you could tell if the planets are in fucking retro because I can't even talk, but I have came so far and, and in such a small amount of time too. And it's like for me to look back and see what I was, I don't want to be in a relationship and this is how I think your feminine is feeling, gentlemen. Um, I don't want to be a re in a relationship until I know that I'm right. Even if it wasn't a pill addiction, maybe it could have been a gambling addiction. Maybe it could have been a drug addiction. Maybe it could have been an alcohol addiction. Maybe it could have been sex addiction. You know, like some people that are addicted to sex. Um, and, and they want to try to heal themselves before they come to you. They want to try to get right with themselves before they come to you okay so don't don't take it as oh she don't like me or he don't like me no it's the fact that they are working on their self right now and then we got the three of pentacles so they're really working working on themselves right now okay so the best thing that you can do is just send that love just send that love anyways you know, think positive, keep thinking positive, keep thinking these really nice romantic thoughts too, because in the beginning of this reading, I don't know why it's just like, I wanted to start writing poetry. I just wanted to feel the gentle touch, uh, you know, of a hand or, or that energy transfer that, that you can feel just with being within their energy. It's, it's more less too, and I'm really feeling very powerful psychic connection so you and your significant other you don't even have to be around each other you can literally feel each other you could tap into each other just by thought just by the thought um whenever you're you're feeling emotional whenever you're feeling sad they're feeling it too don't get me wrong. They they are definitely feeling you. And and God is allowing all of this to happen too. God is allowing all of this to happen in the in the 3D because it's happening in in a multi universes. See, we we live everybody lives on a multi universe. We have hundreds of of universes, out, hundreds of galaxies, I'm sorry, hundreds of galaxies out there in this universe, okay? And I was just talking about this too, the Mandela effect, when two universes collide, okay, or not universes, okay, there could be multi-universe, yes, multi, yes, there is, I'm sorry, correction, yes, there is, <laughs> multi-universes and multi-galaxies, so there's multi-galaxies in these multi-universes, that, and then there's a big, big one that we just don't even know what the heck it is, it's just really big, okay, um, yeah, there is you, and there is your partner, on several planets out there several galaxies and when two galaxies collide or two galaxies meet each other in the night like this okay i really feel that's when your psychic um your your psychic abilities to your higher self get strengthened really powerful and you got like this this connection like no other it's it's it gives me chills just like thinking about it because I have a very powerful psychic connection. Um, I know how to tap into that. I've known how to do astral projection and um, spiritual connection, uh, ancestral protection, all of this stuff just rhymes. That's really cool. I don't know why I'm feeling poetry. I'm feeling that poetry. I'm feeling that Piscean energy, that Cancerian energy wanting to come out. Yes, I do. Um, yeah, I'm really feeling that you guys have a very powerful um, connection with somebody in a multi-universe. Um, you're able to tap into them. 
what is uh but on this planet because <laughs> that's where we are is on this planet but as you can see i just picked up the deck right now and this card fell out and we were just talking about multi-universes okay so this is clarification that you know you are able to tap in to your higher self you just don't know how to do it on call now um when we get hurt or something traumatic happens in our life um something very uh, detrimental happens in our life that's when we're able to really tap into our um, our astral projection or um, spiritual uh, communications with the astral or our higher self but um, when we are just sitting here unless you know how to do it you know unless you can throw yourself because you got to be very grounded when you do this when you astral project you got to be very grounded it could suck the energy out of you so bad it could kill you I'm not even joking. Um, I've heard of a woman, uh, I'm not going to name any names because she's still alive, but, um, and a man, uh, they're a husband and wife and the man's mom, she was a very powerful white witch. She was a very powerful healer and she would literally astral project her children to Disneyland. And I'm not kidding. Andy. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, there's a million Andes out there and there's a million Sunnies, okay? All I got that's all I gotta say. There's a million of them. <laughs> By the way, special shout out. I love you, Andy and Sunny. But yes, Andy's uh, mother, she could astral project. And Andy told me that he she astral projected them to Disneyland. Or she would go around the world or she would heal people. And and back then they didn't really know how to recharge like they should properly okay there there is a recharge that you need to do after um something like that and um even after doing tarot card readings because this is this is a form of astral projection when we tap into other energy from other universes it is yes it is it is a form of astral projection i didn't know if you guys knew that or not um but yeah we need to recharge and people back then didn't really know how to do that that good okay um they would uh and it would suck the life out of them. Like it would literally drain them. So I'm really learning that we're also learning here how to properly uh, recharge, recharge those batteries. Okay. Um, and we're um, we're coming along very, very nicely. May I add? Yeah. There was a period probably where we were very sad. Um, that there was a lot of uh, stress going on in our life. I'm telling you, this retrograde with like seven planets in retrograde at the same time, um, it is kicking my ass. I'm not even going to sugarcoat shit, okay? It is kicking my fucking ass. Um, and the only thing I could say is get out in nature. Uh, if, so, if something's trying to stop you and you got to, that's another thing. You have to also know how to realize triggers you have to realize also when people are trying to stop you from doing something or so there's some kind of energy out there that is trying to stop you from doing something 